Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's August 26th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update, and I'm here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Grant, thanks for being here this week. Uh, for a very interesting end of summer Friday, uh, started today with uh, Fed Chairman Jay Powell speaking at the Fed's annual retreat out in Jackson, Wyoming. What did we learn? <laughs> we learned a bit. The, you know, as you said, all eyes were on the symposium, uh, Jackson Hole, and it was the first in-person uh, gathering for all the top economic uh, policymakers since 2019, but you know, Chairman Powell took the opportunity to warn, you know, of a sustained period of of lower growth and and vowed the Fed must uh, you know keep at it until the job is done, quote unquote, uh, in what was probably his most hawkish hawkish uh, message to date uh, on inflation. So, um, you know, in uh, in Muni's, uh, we had another. Sort of lackluster week. Uh, we saw outflows of 1.2 billion, which uh, was a third consecutive week of outflows, and uh, and that gets us up back over the billion mark. So, um, you know, there's been a trend in the muni market of of a much flatter uh, yield curve. The short end has gotten, you know, very um, there's been pretty dramatic increases in yields uh, in the short end of the curve to come in line a little bit more with where treasury yields are. Um, and, uh, you know, just in August alone, the yield pickup in two to 10 years on AAA munis has actually uh, fallen from 69 basis points to just 33 basis points. So we have a flatter uh, muni curve, which you don't, um, which you don't always see. The, uh, you know, the larger issue, you know, in our opinion, continues to be the, the long end where, um, you know, liquidity has has uh, weakened again. There's um, uh, very little, uh, uh, you know, despite the fact there's very modest new issue supply. So, uh, you know, given the recent string of outflows, I do think that we can continue to see a little bit more softening in, in the weeks ahead, especially uh, if the calendar starts to build again, as, as we expect. So, um, you know, I'd say the only bright spot in in munis is that muni ratios uh, have climbed back you know, from the mid 90s this week up to over 100% uh, in 30 years. And you know, anytime you see an increase in the muni ratio, it, it indicates underperformance. And of course, anytime you see ratios getting up around 100%, that does open the door to non-traditional buyers coming in who might pick up some of that demand that's uh, going unmet by the retail sector as they're backing away from mutual funds. Um, looking ahead to this week, uh, another uh, $6 billion on the calendar for the end of August uh, into September, early September, not a horrible week. Um, yeah, what we're seeing on the BAM side is, uh, is a lot of uh, dispersion. We had 19 transactions in short of the new issue market, totaling 140 million. So no one transaction stands out with large volume, but you see those uh, essential service issuers across the country utilizing insurance to help them access the market in this time. Uh, as we go ahead into the Labor Day weekend, uh, I know there's some data on the calendar. What, what will you be watching for? Yeah, so next week we have unemployment number on Friday. So uh, we're expecting 300,000 rise in non-farm payrolls. Uh, that's, you know, down from a surprisingly large 528,000 uh, that we saw in July. So the unemployment rate is expected to hold steady uh, at three and a half percent. And um, so, you know, one thing, uh, you know, Fed Chairman Powell just um, questions, you know, whether he'll continue to kind of micromanage these ec economic numbers, but uh, it was definitely a hawkish uh, speech and the Fed seems uh, to uh, be very resolved to bring inflation down. And to the extent there was any kind of argument uh, between the bond market and the equity market going into uh, Jay Powell's speech today, it does seem like the bond market has won very little reaction in the bond market pricing uh, since the speech, whereas the equity market is down quite a bit. So it looks like the bond market had gotten to where uh, Powell was heading a little bit sooner than the equity market. We'll see how that plays out with the next uh, data coming up. Thanks for joining us this week, Grant. Uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks, Mike.